Hey guys, it's Jill, and I hope that you guys are all having an awesome day. Today we're going to be doing freezer meals. I'm so excited for this one. Last week I uploaded a video on freezer meals, and it was my first time really kind of like getting into uh, doing freezer meals. And the week went by wonderfully with me being able to just pull things out of the freezer, put it into the crock pot, or put it into the oven. I loved it. Another recipe that I did in my last one is making a repeat here because it was that good. It was delicious. Totally forgot to get pesto sauce at the store today. I was supposed to do that, but I didn't. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed. This one is more, I don't think any of them are really crock pot meals. I think they're all oven meals and they all did take a little bit longer. I made, I want to say it was 10, it was either nine or 10 meals. I can't remember. This is going to last me probably two weeks for my family because it's just the three of us and my kids really don't eat a whole lot. Like <clears throat> one portion for them is like half of a portion. You know what I'm saying? So like if something is like six portions, I can get way more than six portions because they eat like half of a portion a piece. So this is going to last me a really long time. I'm really excited. I hope that you guys enjoyed this too. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So the way that I started this meal prep was I went from easiest to hardest. And um, so this one is uh, that I'm making is a slow cooker pot roast. I will link all of these recipes down below in the crock, not crock pot. Oh my gosh, this is a crock pot meal. I'll link all the recipes down below in the description box. But this is a two to three pound beef chuck or rump roast. Um, one ounce packet of ranch dressing, one packet of Italian dressing, uh, one packet of brown gravy, and optional was to add some potatoes and carrots, and as you see, I did that. Then this one, I'm making hamburgers, and what you have to do for this one is flash freeze them so they don't stick together, um, and I'll show you that in a little bit, but I just added some um, ground beef into a bowl. Um, here's some wax paper that I put on a, a cookie sheet. Um, I just added some like minced onions, some garlic pepper, some salt and pepper, and I'm just weighing out four ounces of each patty um, because if you guys don't know, I'm on a weight loss journey, so I try to get as accurate as I possibly can. Um, so here I'm just kind of pushing them down. That's, I think, 12 of them. I can't, I'm not counting right now. Anyways, so basically what you do is you put them in the freezer until they're like almost frozen, and then you'll take them out, and you'll see that in a little bit. But this meal right here is a repeat offender. This one is from my last meal prep and it was so good and we enjoyed it so much that I had to make it again. Um, but this is the lemon pesto chicken and it's so simple and easy. And you just uh, put some chicken breast, some um, either jarred or homemade pesto, um, some fresh lemon juice, which the last time I did three lemons, so I just juiced three again and it came out really good. And then in a separate baggie, I just put half of a cup of mozzarella cheese. This clip I left in here just to show you guys, this is one of my hacks from my last uh, freezer meal video. And that is just basically to clean up as you go. It makes it so much easier and so much quicker. Um, I was able to do this. It took me like two and a half hours, but if I didn't have to like mess with my memory card and basically if I wasn't filming, it would have taken me definitely two hours. Um, this one right here, I'm kind of concerned about how it's going to um, unfreeze, I guess, and, and cook. But this is a ranch parmesan chicken, and it's chicken breast, which I actually use chicken tenderloins, one cup of ranch dressing, one cup of panko, breadcrumbs, half a cup of parmesan cheese, um, some garlic powder, salt and pepper, and then at the very end, when you're ready to cook it, you'll um, melt uh, a fourth of a cup of butter and pour it over top so it like gets nice and crispy. Um, but um, another hack too is to use these bags and also like make sure you label your bags and also like any ingredients that you might need for that meal for the day. Like um, I think for this one I plan to have a salad and then something else. So the, the day that I um, make this I need to remember to make sure to go and buy some salad or a salad mix or something. This one's not the healthiest, but it sure was good. Um, this one is chicken, broccoli, bacon, and potato bake. Um, you just do some red potatoes, dice them up, do some, I actually did some chicken thighs because that's what I had. Um, you're going to do some broccoli florets. Right here, I'm um, making some bacon. Um, you do some salt, pepper, garlic powder, heavy cream, and then two tablespoons of butter on top. 
Again, like I said, not the healthiest um, because it is a little high in fat, but it was definitely really, really good. And um, yeah, I just put them in these little uh, foil containers. I think it was like eight by eight or nine by nine or something like that. Yum, look at that bacon. Also, as you can see, this one is going to make two meals. So you can like easily double it, single it, triple it, quadruple it, whatever. Super easy. And then of course you just want to write on some foil the instructions and again like anything that you might want with this I, don't, I think that was a pretty full meal so I didn't want anything additional like an additional side but you just cover it in foil and it's ready to go in the freezer so here you see me I took my um, hamburgers out of the freezer um, they weren't completely frozen, but the bottom of them was and then I just separated each of them with wax paper um, And then I just put them back in the freezer uh, This right here. I'm just making some basic meatballs. It's uh, a pound of ground beef uh, Pinko breadcrumbs and egg milk tomato paste Parsley salt pepper garlic powder Italian seasoning. I actually didn't have Italian seasoning So I just put basil in there um, but this, again, the whole like flash freezing thing, you're going to go ahead, mix your ingredients together, make them into little balls, put them on parchment paper or wax paper on a cookie sheet, um, and then go ahead and put them in the freezer for about an hour. And then you will um, take them out and put them in your bag to put then in the freezer. And I saved this one for last. This one's a taco rice casserole. And I saved this one for last because I had to cook the most. Um, so here you just see me cooking some brown rice. And then I was cooking some ground turkey. And then here I'm cutting up a zucchini. You guys, I totally forgot zucchini was in this. We actually ate this tonight. And it was so good. And I didn't remember that the zucchini was in there until I came back and was started to edit this video. So you literally cannot taste this, the zucchini at all my kids didn't know I didn't even remember so it's really a great way to add some hidden veggies into this casserole um, but here you just see me laying layering down some brown rice and then I'm over here browning this is actually my second one because this one makes two as well um, but it just has uh, ground turkey onion zucchini corn black beans um, rotel uh, some taco seasoning cooked rice and then just a couple of handfuls of cheese and that's basically it. You just brown the ground beef, add your zucchini and onions, and let them cook a little bit, add some taco seasoning, then you add your corn, you add your rotel, your black beans, make sure that you rinse and drain your um, beans, any kind of beans that you get, and that's it. I'm just gonna pour this on top of the casserole, on top of the rice, and sprinkle it with some cheese, cover it with um, some foil, and call it a day. So there we go guys, nine meals that I made in three hours. It actually should take you about two and a half, maybe two hours, but I had to keep switching out my memory card, um, export or importing my, my footage onto my computer, and that took a lot of time. And I did that like three three times, I think. So if I didn't have to do that and continue to keep moving the camera around, it definitely would have taken me about two hours. 
But yeah, I'm loving these freezer meals. They're so easy. And to tell you the truth, guys, this is so much more than, than how many meals did I say I had? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is so much more than nine meals for me because me it's just me and my two kids and they don't eat a whole lot. So like that pot roast is gonna probably be like three meals or two meals and this is definitely gonna be more than just one and this is definitely gonna be like, probably like two or three. Um, and then we got the meatballs and we've got the Parmesan cheese. I'm wondering about this, the ranch Parmesan chicken um, because it's already breaded. I'm wondering how that's gonna turn out but yeah, we will see. And then of course I've got hamburgers and I think there's nine of them in there. So that's definitely, uh, we each eat one. That's two, four, wait, three, six, nine. That's three meals for me right there. So personally for me, this is going to be like two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is like 16 meals for me and my family. I also wanted to show you guys what all I have left to clean up, and this is just it. Um, that pan over there, put the recipes back, those scissors, and then this right here, a few dishes. Those need to go into the trash. Um, that's my snack. <laughs> um, but I definitely need to clean up the stove, clean that up, and clean that up, and put that up, and that's really it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite recipe is. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are gonna make any of these meals. And if you guys wanted hacks and things to make your meal prep go faster, I will link the little um, video that I did prior to this up here. I give a lot of tips in that video. I think it's like 10 tips on how to make your meal prep go quicker. And I think that's everything. Oh, I did all of this in like two and a half hours and it would have taken me probably probably about two hours if I did not do if I did not have to keep switching out my memory card and switching out my camera or like changing my camera and, and the angles and stuff so yeah this is a pretty quick one too so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye